Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video. A very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well, today I'm gonna talk about the year 2022. You know, in the month of April 2022, there are three major planets changing their zodiac signs. The first planet to change its zodiac sign would be the planet Rahu. Rahu will be moving into the Aries sign from the Taurus sign. That will be on the 12th of April 2022. On the 13th of April 2022, the planet Jupiter will be moving into the Pisces sign. And on the 29th of April, Saturn will be moving into the Aquarius sign. So three major planets are gonna change their zodiac signs in the month of April 2022. So what can we expect from these changes? You know, everything must change. Nothing remains the same. Nothing is permanent in this world except change. So at this point in time, people are gonna experience change in their lives. You know, this planet Rahu is an illusion. It is a karmic planet. Rahu is about the ups and downs in your life. Well, this particular Rahu makes a person's life interesting because Rahu makes you experience life just as you are on a roller coaster. Sometimes Rahu takes you up and sometimes it takes you down. You know, this planet Jupiter represents wealth. It represents education. It represents intelligence. It represents your intellect. It represents money. It represents righteousness. And the planet Saturn, which will move into the Aquarius sign, represents hard work, perseverance, patience, religion, meditation, and spiritual growth. So at this point in time, these three major planets changing their signs in the month of April 2022 will produce a radical change in the life of people. You know, I'm not saying that everybody would become happy or everybody would become sad at this point in time. You know, while some people may experience happiness in their life, Others may face challenges in their life at this point in time when these three major planets change their zodiac signs. You know, seeing the planetary positions and the placement of Saturn in the Aquarius sign, Jupiter in the Pisces sign and Rahu in the Aries sign in three consecutive zodiac signs. I want to tell you all something today. I want to tell you all that at this point in time, you must adapt to that change which you will experience in your life. You should embrace that change which you will experience in your life. You know, if you don't adapt to that change, if you don't embrace that change in your life, which is gonna come in the month of April 2022, you will not be able to move forward in your life. You will not be able to see success and prosperity in your life. You know, change is very important in life. Hence, an intelligent person embraces that change, adapts to that change. You know, you must continuously strive to get better in your life at this point in time. You know, some people may experience problems at this point in time. But experiencing a problem is very normal. There is nothing new to this word problem. Because everyone in this world, every human being in this world experiences problems and challenges in his or her life. So this is a very normal thing. Some people get disturbed about the problems and difficulties they face in their life. But I would suggest them, I would advise them not to bother about this word problem or this word difficulty. You know, if you give too much importance to your trouble, to your problems, to your difficulties, then that thing doubles. So my suggestion to y'all would be, don't trouble that trouble. Don't worry about that trouble. Just avoid that trouble. Just ignore that trouble. And focus on the brighter side of your life. Focus on the positive side of your life. Well, it is easier said than done. But that is how you have to live your life at this particular moment. You know, you must focus on one thing at this point in time. 
you shouldn't focus on several things at this point in time whatever your talent whatever your gift whatever your abilities are you should focus on them and make sure you focus on one thing at a time don't try to multitask your life at this point in time suppose if you are doing a job concentrate on that job if you are doing a business concentrate on that business if you are in a relationship make sure that you make that relationship stronger at this point in time i mean you shouldn't think about anything else apart from that one thing you are doing at this point in time so focus and concentration is very important at this point in time and you need to focus and concentrate on that particular thing that one thing with a lot of hard work a lot of perseverance a lot of patience at this point in time because it is most likely that you may face hurdles barriers and obstacles in your life you know at this point in time you should try 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 again if you do not succeed at first try 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 again and this would be the formula for your success at this point in time so don't give up on that idea which you have in your mind at this point in time try to implement that idea in your life until and unless you implement an idea i mean your idea in your life nothing will move forward for you in your life so action is needed from your end you know you need to act at this point in time in other words action action despite the distraction you might face a lot of distractions at this point in time but you need to remain focused and concentrated on your life at this point in time you know you mustn't waste your time on other things in your life instead you need to focus on your career your work your business your job etc 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 at this point in time if you are a student you need to focus on your education you know until and unless a person is positive for you productive for you purposeful for you profitable for you don't entertain anyone in your life at this point in time you know you need to use your own mind at this point in time you don't need to share your ideas with others you don't need to share your plans with others you don't need an advice or opinion from others at this point in time keep your ideas keep your plans to yourself and try to implement them at this point in time you know if you think that person whom you are texting or that person is texting you or is calling you or you are calling them is not productive positive purposeful or profitable for you then you need to discard that person from your life at this point in time you know the reason why i am telling you all not to share your ideas and plans with others is because that you might find people who might discourage you at this point in time they might become the members of the discouragement club at this point in time they might discourage you to move forward in your life at this point in time they might not approve of your plan your idea at this point in time and they might discourage you you know only you know what you want in your life what you are good at what your heart wants no one else knows what you can achieve in your life what you can accomplish in your life so it is better not to talk to people who haven't done what you are going to do how do they know how will you accomplish and achieve your goals and their dreams when they haven't done so in their life so it would be a sheer waste of time if you talk to them regarding your ideas and plans it is better for you to implement your own ideas and plans i mean not taking help from anyone else and if you face those hurdles obstacles and barriers in your life you have to overcome them you know when a pessimistic person sees an opportunity and all they see are barriers hurdles and obstacles but a positive person an optimistic person sees barriers hurdles and obstacles in their life and all they see are opportunities 
So become an optimist at this point in time. Become positive at this point in time. And you need to accomplish and achieve your goals and dreams of your life at any cost. Well, you shouldn't forget about this word perseverance in your life at this point in time. You know, perseverance is the hard work you do after you have done the hard work you have already done. I mean, if you have worked hard throughout your day and in the evening you come home and start working on yourself, start working to develop your talents and skills, start learning something new when you come home. That is called perseverance. You know, a person who perseveres becomes unstoppable in his life. So you have to become unstoppable in your life at this point in time. You know, you need to accomplish your goals and dreams. I mean, you need to make further ground on that path towards your goals and dreams at this point in time. And you need to do it anyhow. You need to do it trembling. You need to do it nervous. You need to do it broke. You need to do it if you are crawling. You need to do it even if you face a mountain in front of you. So the point which I want to tell you all is that you need to be determined at this point in time. You know, you shouldn't be bothered about others at this point in time. You should be bothered about your own life, not what others are doing. I would suggest you to mind your own business at this point in time. What other people are doing with their life is none of your business. You need to just focus on your life, your journey of your life. What will you get by interfering in other people's life? So, it is better you mind your own business and keep on inching towards that goal and dream of your life. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you all about this Rahu, Saturn and Jupiter in three consecutive zodiac signs. If you want some specific predictions about yourself, then you can contact me directly. Well, like I always say, that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will not get a chance to live this beautiful life once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase your luck in your life, because luck plays a very important factor in the life of human being. So if you want to boost your luck in your life, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, vastu remedies and religious remedies which can be utilized by any person of any religion. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move mountains. And if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, prosperity, business, career, job, money, property, education, relationships, love relationships, etc, etc, etc then also you can contact me. And if you want a Vastu visit of your flat, office, residence, factory, etc, 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 then also you can contact me. And if you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you can contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Matadi. Jai Ma Kali.